quick dev tip. Did you know that you could switch between relative and world when manipulating location, rotation, and scale? So here I'm not talking about changing world and local up in here for the transform gizmo. I'm talking about changing it here in the transform section. So this little drop down arrow, you got relative and world, and you got exactly the same thing for the rotation and the scale as well. So my example, I'm gonna show you how this is useful. I've got two objects here. If I right click and I attach my second object to my first, it's gonna move around now. And this number here is actually relative. So for example, if I zero this out, rather than zeroing out into world space, it's zeroing out into relative space to my cube. So this is this is useful because this is what you want by being attached. But what happens if I want this second object to be in a very specific world location? If I copy the location of this place I want it to be, and I try pasting it in, like I said, it's not gonna work because it's relative. So we have a relative offset. How are we using today's tip? That's how we can get around it. So we change this from relative to world. And now if I copy my value and I paste it in, it's gonna be exactly where I need it to be. Slight problem with this then comes that although attached, as you can see here, it's still attached, it is no longer moving relatively. But we can get around this if I click on the second asset again, change it back to relative it's now going to move in the right place. And this is exactly the same kind of idea with the rotation and the scale. So this seems to work in exactly the same way in the early access version of Unreal 5. Uh, I'll do the same example here. So I'm going to attach my cylinder to my cube, move it around, it's attached. It's using relative, so if I zero out the X, it's going to put it in line here. If I want to align it with this, I can come, I can drop down, I can go to world, paste in the value, it's not going to move with it, so I just need to make sure, like before, I turn it back to relative, and then it works. So an example of where I used this myself was in a platformer game, uh, and I had an asset attached to another asset, and it was moving along with it. But I needed this asset to be world location aligned zero in the x-plane. So just like I'm doing here, I aligned it in x, and then I carried on moving this.